It's tragic because both of them were very aspiring individuals. Tonight, we're putting a face to the victims of a car crash that took the lives of two 22 year olds from Roseville. Frankie Rose and Brittany Martin were killed after their car crashed into a home in Lincoln Saturday night. New tonight, CBS 13's Sharin Roger joins us live now from the site of the accident with more on what we have learned. Sharin? Sam and Adrian, certainly an emotional time for these families, and the community has come out to make this makeshift memorial with candles and flowers, and people have been coming by over the last few days to pay their respects. And those that knew Frankie Rose tell me tonight, these were two friends with big dreams whose lives were lost too soon. Crazy that they're gone. It's way too early. We're... We're just starting out in our lives, and they were both going to be so successful. Both 22 year old Frankie Rose and Brittany Martin were friends. In fact, they had gone to prom together at Oakmont High School in Roseville. It's my best friend, my ace. You know, we did, we did everything together. Sad. Miss him. He's like Randy was saying, he was a really, really big part of our group. Frankie's lifelong friends embraced outside this tattoo shop, still processing the shock of their loss before they went in to get a tattoo in Frankie's honor. I am going to get a Rose. Um, his last name is Rose. So that for the rest of my days, I'll always be reminded of the person that he was and carry that with me. Frankie had played football back in high school, and Brittany played basketball at Oakmont and earned a spot on the Sonoma University women's basketball team. It's tragic because both of them were very aspiring individuals. They, Brittany just graduated college and got one of her dream jobs in marketing, and Frankie was a real estate agent. Here at Keller Williams in Folsom, Frankie's real estate team writing notes to his family and say he was incredibly hardworking about to sell his first big listing. He would come in at 8 in the morning and he would leave at 9 at night. But just after midnight Sunday, for still unknown reasons, Frankie's car with Brittany as a passenger crashed through a street lamp, a backyard fence, and into a home on McBean Park Drive. The two did not survive. I was with him the night and he never leaves him without not saying bye. You know, he always tells me where he's going, always says goodbye, and then I turned around and he was just gone, you know, and I'll never have that piece of the puzzle. He just disappeared. Now, there were also two people inside this home when the crash happened. Police say they were not hurt, but still a lot of questions. 